is a magical place. A doorway of sorts, where the spirits of the world can be sensed. And with the right key, to keep it safe, an order known as the Vault Keepers was founded, and a walled city built around it. For a thousand years, the Order kept watch, until one night, during a lunar eclipse, something evil came knocking. And in those moments, the last Vault Keeper had only one thought. Protect the Vault. Alright. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. Today we're going to be playing Lionheart. Dark Moon RPG. Um, apparently this is... Well, you guys have seen me play Lionheart before, but it's Lionheart Tactics. Yeah, this is the RPG version of the game. So we're gonna see how they um, do with it. Oh, nice. Nice animation. What the hell? Okay. The hell is that thing? It looks so creepy. Okay, so they do monster intros. It looks pretty sick though. I want to get rid of the mask. Oh, I guess that doesn't work, huh? This are not like individual things you can fight. What the hell? Um, can you not? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. Wounded, he roared in defiance. Uh, yeah, emulator lag when it comes to videos for some reason. Channeling the last of his magic into the artifact he'd protected for so long. And the great key, the one thing that could open the gate, just came apart. In front of him, the monster frothed in rage, sensing its prize slip away. The fragments fell across the world like stardust. God, now we have As silently gotta go collect it. and unseen, they lay hidden, waiting to be found. By us, yay. <laughs> Our suffering. I mean, so far, it's not half bad of a story. If you voice hang through this whole thing and I don't have to read, then you got yourselves a player. <laughs> That's all I got to tell you. Oh, no, and now you just killed him. <laughs> yeah, I can't name it. Oof. What do you mean, you guess? It's rented a city. And you'll let you keep your life. So, you know what? RC, you're a car. Catch these hands. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to get that RC joke. <laughs> Well, let's go in and see how everything is. Hopefully they have more than just one skill. Well, not like one skill. Well, yeah, technically one skill because the first one's the basic. But hopefully they have more than two attacks and up to at least three. That wolf with the large mouth. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, can you not attack her only? <laughs> That would be lovely. So he's a lesser wolf. So that means I'm strong against this guy? Alright. Oh, well, damn. Uh, well, that definitely means I'm strong against that guy. Well, 
Oh god, we got poisoned. It's fine. <laughs> because we got damage boost. Oh dear god, um... Well, let's just go ahead and stop that. Yeah, we know about the less damage, but you know what? E book. <laughs> Without anybody dying. We smart. Hopefully they don't have the whole fragment thing, because that'll, that'll definitely throw me off. Because you guys know how I feel about shark collector games. Summoning key? Yes, let's get into the summons. Say no more. I got a dragon. <laughs> what the hell is that? Alright, let's go fight these bandits. So I have a chance of getting the wolf, huh? Yeah, add a little guy to the party. <laughs> he looks so weird. But yeah, the first game they had made was a um, tactics game where you can like move characters around like a large map, you know. Sort of like the Alchemist Code. Pretty much their type of gameplay. Since most of you guys watch my Alchemist Code videos. Which I haven't uploaded this week just because there's been nothing interesting that happened yet. Ah, uh, goddamn, dude. Yeah, heal her. The little guy heals, so that's that's fine. Eat my book. <laughs> the way he flows his arms. <laughs> yeah, too bad you can't stop me. Now let's get rid of the extra damage. Eat my slime ball. Oh wow, this little guy is OP as hell. <laughs> Never mind. It's a bear man. Alright, bear man. Catch these hands. Ow. I mean, he was already dead since we increased his damage. Alright, let's just storm through this. I, I honestly want to get into some more gameplay. So we got some XP. Alright. So now we can look at our heroes. Also, they had the, oh god, it is a shark collector. Well, that's disappointing. I don't know it really depends on how good the rates are when it comes to summoning. Because uh, there's a lot of games outshining. So many other gacha games just because of their good summoning rate of getting like a high character. It's actually pretty funny. And a lot more people are playing those than these games that have crappier summon rate. So let's just hope this one has a good one. Not rude. Now don't attack my little guy, how dare you? He's making a snowman, look at him. 
Doesn't he get cute and adorable? Yeah, take that, jerk. Eat my book. Don't, don't you yell at me, you piece of shit. How dare you? <laughs> I love his animation for when he runs. All right, dude. Yeah, he looks pretty cool, too. Oh my god, he's style pointing. Dude, your style points are too much. Please stop. Friendship combo? <laughs> Increase the damage. Meep. <laughs> or merp. Nah, yeah, we're gonna go with meep. That is not your new name. Meep. Eat book. How does that make you feel? Oh, damn. Okay. Well, does not make you feel, like, happy, does it? So now we took his blade. Stun charging enemies to back in the attack. throne room. The little creature drew on his pipe. The bandits were only the start of their troubles. The oh, I should have the click. Whispers were stirring again. Back, hunting down the keys and anyone else that gets in its way. Luckily, the Potkin knew someone that might be able to help. To the north, among the roses of Careholm, was the first elven oracle to be born in over a hundred years. If anyone could tell them where this threat was coming from, it would be her. I'll get in. Goals. My gold. Alright, so now we can buy a silver key. What's that summon do we have right now? So we have a Minotaur as a set summon, okay. Pretty nice. So can we go, yeah, we can go back. But we would have to keep going just to get through everything else. Like guild battles and everything. There's even a cell on a Bear guy. Oh, don't tell me there's MVP. Yeah, those are basically MVP points. Okay, yeah, you definitely lost my interest on that. I don't know why. I just can't support games that do v VIP. Right, let's just go ahead and buy another key. Why not? Not the end of the world. Oh, we can get a very rare character. Let's see. Nice, very rare character, by the way. Just saying. Alright, let's see. Here, here. This guy has. Okay, so they do have about the three attacks. Okay, nice, 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 nice. 
Well, actually, four attacks, right? Or oh, no, that's a passive. Okay, so he can skill lock people too. Nice, 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 nice. Stuns, resist dark. Boost attack at low D, well, HP. Um, I think I would rather take you, what well, no, take you out, put you. Just because the skill lock actually sounds really nice, so they'll just be doing basic attacks instead of the other random crap they probably have in their arsenal. Get him, Crow. Yeah. Squawk him. Okay, I wanted to see if it had if it had hit multiple times, and it does. So they don't indicate multiple attacks. Okay, so now they have um, auto. Oh my god, it goes up to times four. That's nice. It's definitely helpful for like farming. Yeah, squawk him. Squawk at him. <laughs> Charge, huh? Take him out. Now attack him. We'll be able to take him out next turn. Are oh, you poisoning bastard? How dare you? So they pretty much have the dual attack for like a uh, Epic Seven, where your characters have a chance of. Um, Jumping in. Alright, I'll, I'll give it like a chance. I'll play it for uh, probably the rest of the week and at least try to get a feel for the game. Oh, so we do have. Oh, no, this is not Mel. That I know of? <laughs> Code. Ah, here's our mail. So that's all we get? Yep. Seems like it. It's a lesser owl. What you got? So you can heal allies and boost speed. Pretty nice. Apparently I have another one in here. But that could be like a leftover is what I want to say. Yeah it is. You're gonna squawk him to death dude. I'm looking at it wrong and there's not an actual VIP system or shark collecting but I feel like there is both of those wait hold up let's grab that and let's do one more before we actually wrap up The soothing water in the background. And we know all about poison. Now 
There we go. Let's get rid of the extra. Alright, so poison does travel over to the next battle. There we go. This is the uh, last wave. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna skill lock now. You know, you didn't have to hit, just hit her all with it. No, I'm just gonna only hit her with the skill down. <laughs> With the skill lock. Oh, jeez. The hell is that thing? Oh, you can have pets too. Ah, so the pet gives extra stats. Okay, that's pretty nice. Does the pet actually float around, you know? Okay, nah. Kind of sad, then. Well, guys, that's probably where I'm going to leave it. Uh, if you guys found the game interesting through its gameplay, you guys can try it yourselves and next and keep going and learn more about it i'm going to be ending it here and like i said i'll probably give this game a nut, just like a week or two just to see if it gets any better or anything and i'll probably put in the comments like after that week of how i feel about it or if it's uh, or if it, this video has been like enough I, I probably will just leave it as it is but so far, it's actually a really interesting game. I can definitely say that. They definitely have done a few different things. Well, not a few. A lot of different things from their other game. For Tactics, not a lot of people, you know, was on board. But, you know, it's still got like a 4.1. Which, which is actually pretty good on uh, Google Play. And this game also has a 4.1. So, yeah, so... The games are still neck and neck next to each other, but I could actually see this game going somewhere. Especially once they add in like a lot more characters and stuff like that. Which I'm I'm sure they have like a lot of characters, right? Yeah, they have oh my god, actually Oh, then there's event only characters. Hopefully they aren't like paid events and they're like actual events you can do without paying. Um it doesn't seem like you see their animations and stuff like that. But I am happy that they have um, multiple skills and not just like, here's two skills and that's it. <laughs> like a few other games I've played. Seems like the epic characters have like at least four skills and stuff like that. Their basic attacks have um, skills on them. Well, other effects. Oh, this one attacks all on his basic attack. Jeez. Actually, not half bad. What does she have? Oh, she could vanish. So I'm guessing vanish means you can't be targeted and stuff like that. Uh, what do you have? You have poison on your arrows. Okay, so yeah, any characters. The normal characters have like three skills, and the uh, epic ones have four, along with a passive and a leader. Okay, no, it's just a passive. Oh, never mind. Some of them have a... Oh, this is a Legendary. Legendary has two passives and four skills. Okay. Well then. But yeah, if you guys want to add me, uh, go for it. You guys can join me on those... Um, on that week or two journey. With that said, I'm going to end it there. 
hope you guys enjoy try the game if you guys actually you know find the gameplay interesting and i'll see you guys next time till then peace out Let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. You're what you got to lose. Just keep pushing through. Cause what you got to lose.